Hey, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the TID Radio TDH6, 10 watt radio for 2 meter and 440. And we'll get started right after this. Before we begin, there's a few buttons below that are starving for attention. There's a subscribe button. Click on that and click on the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. There's a thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that. Right to the right of that, there's a dislike button. If you feel so inclined, hit that one twice. Now let's check out what's inside this box. Okay, the items you get in the box. You get the desk charger and wall wart. Owner's manual. A 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter power adapter. The TID Radio 771 antenna, which is about 17 inches long. Belt clip, the radio itself, two batteries, wrist strap, regular antenna, inner ear headset microphone, external microphone, and a quick start guide. You also get this programming cable in the box, and at the time of filming, the radio is going for $62.99 on Amazon. Okay, the manual is written quite well. It's easy to understand. It's not much to it. it gives you all the... Uh, Codes for DCS and CTCSS, as well as giving you some quickie instructions for each of the menu items, a description of what each of the menu items are as well. Tells you what all the symbols on the main screen stand for. And a quick description on all the parts of the radio. Okay, let's look at the radio here right quick. You have your power knob, transmit, receive, indicator light. If you press and hold this orange button, it gives you a, a siren for emergencies. Pushing this one will change your power level. This upper button will get you into a regular commercial FM radio station. You have your push to talk button. The usual keypad. Menu set setup is exactly what the Baofengs are. And you have your usual Kenwood style plug for programming cables and microphones. And one great thing is the belt clip actually connects to the radio and not to the battery. Okay, programming one of these is just like programming any Baofeng. First one we're going to do is a simplex from the front. And since this is a simplex, it's rather quick. You don't have to mess with any of the PL tones or anything. First you want to do, make sure you're in VFO. Once you're in there, enter the frequency you want. In this case, 146520. Then go into the menu, and you're going to want menu item 26, which is where you put it into the memory. Now it does kick you back out into the frequency input if you sit too long in the memory. Pick the memory slot you want. In this case, we want number two. Then click memory again, or menu again, and you're all set. And there you have, you can see the number two right to the right, and that shows you that you're already pro programmed in. Now for inputting a repeater, again, you're gonna to go to VFO, put in your frequency, 145220. Go into the menu, and you're gonna want menu item number 13. That's your PL tone. In this case, we want 103.5. Hit menu again. Then you want to go up to number 24. This gives you your direction. We want negative or minus. Then you're going to want to go up to number menu 25. And you're going to put in how much your offset is. In this case, 600 or 0.600. And then you want to go again to memory number 26 and pick the channel you want it in. In this case, we want 15. Okay, we got it all programmed in for 15. 
Now let's see if we can't hit the repeater right quick. There we go. We got it. WJ6F testing. Now you cannot put the tag name in here from the front of the radio. You do have to use chirp, which this does work on chirp quite well. If you reset the radio, you can either reset it to VFO or you can do reset all. However, it was my experience when I reset the whole radio back to factory, I wound up with everything in Chinese, including the writing. The way I fixed it, I just hooked it up to chirp, made some changes in chirp in the menu settings, and that took care of the problem. Now let's get this hooked up and see how many watts it actually puts out. Okay, we're gonna start with band A, which is two meters. We're set on 146.520. We're gonna start with low. And we have about a half a watt. Now we're gonna try medium power. And we get about 3.1 watts. And on high, We're about six and a half watts. Okay, now for 440, we're again on low, and we're getting six tenths of a watt. Okay, on medium power, we're getting 2.1 watts. Okay, and on high power, we're only getting three watts. The closest I found to 10 watts on two meters for this radio was at 168.7. And of course, obviously that's not gonna work for us because that is way outside of the two meter band. Now, I'm not transmitting into an antenna, this is just going into a dummy load. Even though this radio did not live up to the full 10 watts, it's not without its merits. It's a solid radio. If you're familiar with Baofengs, you'll be very familiar with this one. For $62, you do get a lot of accessories with it. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.